the whole time I was gone on my trip, uh, I was thinking about working on this plane. So I was really excited to get back in the garage and get out there and get working, which I think is a really good sign. Um, but before I got started, I sat down, or I guess leaned over in this case, and reread uh, the instructions just again and again on the particular steps because, uh, you know, I don't want to make mistakes. And I guess for me, that would be my number one piece of advice that I would highly recommend is that at every turn, make darn sure you understand what it is the documentation is saying uh, so that you don't screw up. Some of this stuff is, you know, once you do it, it's too late. You can't undo it. Some of it's not that bad, but... Yeah, so uh, this is what I'm doing here, is I'm just reading and rereading to make sure I understand what it is I'm about to get myself into. But once I got that all sorted out, it's time to do a countersink. And so here we have the machine countersink cam, haha, that uh, shows how I countersink a single little uh, dimple. And then you, here's a picture of it. On the left, you can see it uncountersunk, and on the right is the countersink. It's nice, clean, and uh, works really well. And now it's just a matter of going back through all of the various holes and getting them uh, countersunk to the appropriate depth. It uh, took a little bit, and the view here is not very good, but I made it happen. Now, and aside here is, I can't believe how fat I have gotten. Um, I hesitated even posting this video just because I've got this jelly roll hanging over my belt there that's just embarrassing. So uh, I have a new plan. Now I'm going to be making a plane and losing weight at the same time. Hey, I figure uh, the more weight I lose, the more baggage I can carry. Once I'm done with all the machine countersinking, it's a matter of... Uh, needing to take everything apart and beginning the deburring process of all the various little bits. Uh, this takes a long time, uh, and I will say that deburring is boring and likely the least sexy thing you will do, and you have to do it a lot. Um, I will admit that there is a temptation to kind of skim over it and be less thorough than I normally would be, but I stuck with it and made it happen, but it is dreadfully boring. Necessary, though. I mean, you want your holes to be clean. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not fun. It gets old pretty quick. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. The DRDT2 is awesome. That's this dimpling tool I'm using right here. Uh, I had to go through and dimple all the holes in the flange on the rear spar, which is what I'm doing, and taking my time, and I just really like that this tool creates very uniform and clean dimples. Every single one of them is identical, uh, and it works really, really well. So uh, I would highly recommend getting one of these. And then the last thing I did was final drill uh, all the hinge brackets and get those ready to go. So... That's it for this time. I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned. I'll have a new one here in a couple days.